We, we initially did four open air shows a year, all Shakespeare's. Uh, and now we're the most prolific uh, amateur theatre company in the country. We do 16 shows in one venue, which is in St Margaret's Lane, which holds 200 people. And we also have a second venue, which is our sort of summer venue, where we do sh four Shakespeare plays in the most magnificent barn, which uh, you can see behind me. Yeah, they did, and said the little devil's incarnate. He could never abide coronation, t'was a colour he never liked. And said one that the devil would have him about women. This building is particularly special because it was built in 1407 um, and it's believed that it was actually built to store some of Henry V's um, stores and victuals um, to prepare for the Battle of Agincourt. The, the barn itself is very long, it's 156 feet, it's one of the longest barns in the country. So as a medieval barn it's actually quite special. Midsummer Night's Dream was written for the uh, Earl of Southampton's mother, Mary Brown, and Mary Brown held Christmas revels in this barn that we're in now for the people of Titchfield and her and the workers on her estate. So if, if Shakespeare had been employed in the grammar school, 100 yards away, uh, he would have been employed by the, uh, by the Earls uh, of Southampton. As a, as a teacher for them, and a tutor for their families, as well as for the yeomen of Titchfield. He would have been here in this barn as well. Hence, we do four Shakespeare's a year in this barn. Until this instant, sleep. Sleep now, good, brave Francis. I'm playing the role of uh, Prince Hal or King Henry V. Um, it's, uh, it's quite, a, quite a big role, um, there's quite a lot to it, um, but that's because of the way that Stuart Trotter, the guy who, who wrote this whole production, has, uh, has put it together. It's a combination of King Henry IV Part One and Two, and King Henry V, so three Shakespeare's rolled into one. Uh, the audience will see <laughs> um, Prince Harry start off as uh, a sort of youngster who's more into, you know, sort of drinking in bars and uh, sort of hanging out with people that aren't that good for someone who's supposed to be a prince um, and they'll be able to see his journey uh, from being that person to turning into a king and the lives of the people it affects as well um, because there are certain characters that start off the play meaning a lot and being extremely close to Prince Harry and as he becomes king he has to for the sake of being king uh, push these people away and it's, it's a lot of his sort of internal struggle and how they're affected by that. Uh, this, this production is, I think, the type of productions in this building are special because of the type of building that we're in. It's a 600 year old barn and the productions are all completely done by people who love the work. It's all completely amateur. So everyone here comes together and it's a really lovely kind of atmosphere. It's on for 10 nights and it's, it's in a beautiful setting. So people come up here and just have a really nice evening. Uh, the production's on from the 24th of June to the 4th of July. Uh, it's the second in the season, so we've already had Measure for Measure, uh, Henry V now, then we've got Othello coming up next and Merry Wives of Windsor at the end of the summer.